Leung Sakun was born in a Cambodian village along the Vietnamese border in 1970, just as the war raged in his country's neighbor and started to spill over into his world. Channeling the emotion of his and his country's most difficult period, Sakun is now one of Cambodia's leading contemporary artists. He uses photos, scraps of clothing and paper, even cast off military equipment to tell the story of his life and the struggles of the country he loves dearly. I can connect, then I can press my creative to, to show what happened about life today. You know, then I, I use uh, material I like so much because uh, this is very important to show the, the time what happened. Since the death of former King Sihanouk in October, hundreds of thousands of Cambodians have come here to the capital to pay their final respects. Sukun sees the king and his legacy as the strongest unifying force in the country and is honoring him in his unique artistic way. Sukun credits the king, who was an artistic man, as an inspiration for his path. For months, he collected incense wrappers discarded at the shrines around the royal palace, using them as a canvas for his memorial portrait of the king. So this is one of your pieces that honors the king, which essentially was the end of an era. How do you view the future of Cambodia? For me, I respect the old culture because, of course, but also I'm new too. But for them, it's a little bit uh, lost. It's very important to connect from the, the old, the, the very beautiful uh, culture from before, then to join with the, what I'm doing now. That message Sakon wants to share is inspired by his king and country, but is not solely directed at Cambodia's youth. Despite its history of atrocities and war, he wants the world to better understand the beauty of his country. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.